same thing. Um, I was gonna say, um, that same night I met James Butler. He was the um, I believe left tackle for for New England Patriots. Met him that night, and I was I wasn't even approaching him. I was just standing there having a drink, and he noticed my because I was wearing a double-breasted gray suit. That actually no 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 I had that that blue the blue pinstripe one. He made a mention of it, and um, he was like, "Yeah, come here, come on, grab a seat." And I didn't know who he was at first because it was dark, and we started talking whatever. And somebody else has mentioned to me. He's like, "Yeah, you know who that is." And I was like, "Was like that's James Butler." Dude. And I was like, "Oh crap!" He ended up like I was telling him, I was like, "Yeah, I'm just trying to hang out tonight, whatever." He's like, "No, no, forget all that. You're coming out with me tonight." Ended up taking me out. We went to like five different spots, paid for everything, everything VIP, spending like thousands. He's buying bottles for everybody in the whole entire place. And every single person that's on Instagram, Facebook, he's like, oh, yeah, come here. Oh, this is my, this, this is my suit guy right here. And I'm like, man, I just met you tonight. What are you talking about? But notice, he, he, he didn't call his boy, though, did he? He didn't call his boy. Oh, he, exactly. he didn't put his boy on. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I know. It was a long night. I didn't I call him. I know I'm messing with you, bro. You know how I do. <laughs> but, I but, yeah, it was, that goes to show, it does it definitely, um, puts you at certain at certain tables that you wouldn't normally um, be at if you were just in any tire. Exactly. And, and you know, there's a, as you know, within our community, there's a term called keeping it real. You oh, know, yeah. I yeah. keep it real. And, you know, I, I look at that and I say, hey, look, you know, I'm as real as it gets. You know that, you know. Absolutely. And, but like in anything, there, there are uh, times where you have to be adaptable. And being adaptable doesn't mean you're changing who you are. Being adaptable yeah. means that you're able to facilitate, you know, for the right situation, the right time, the right circumstances. The way you talk to your parents hopefully isn't the way that you talk to your homeboys. You know, the yeah. way that you are, your, you know, or your grandparents for that matter. The way you talk and conduct yourself in business is not the way that you would talk if you were on the basketball court or someplace like that. So you know, there's protocol and everything. And, and I think when we um, get away from protocol or we water it down or, or, or say, well, you're not keeping it real if you're speaking this way, addressing that way or whatever the situation is, then to me, you're, you're um, keeping yourself from opportunities that you could, you know, um, open the door for or get yourself into because now you're only one dimensional, you know, and people only see this one, area of you and they associate that one area with, with you and not be able to see you know different aspects of you. you like you said you you came in you know you you spoke with you know a myriad of different people from a uh, media mogul to football player and you were able to adapt to all those different environments and those different types yeah. of people but you're still jd exactly you know you're still, the, you're still the kid from new york slash jamaican you know what i mean we can sit down and talk yeah. about patties and rum and, and everything, but Absolutely. then cut it back over to the suits, you know, business and things of that nature. And, and that's really what I wanted to bring to this segment and this episode is to show that you can be real, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. I mean, and <laughs> still be adaptable and most importantly, still be stylish, still be an alpha, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks. You gotta be a chameleon out here. <laughs> right. I mean, and so, you know, um, I, well, let's go over your site real quick, man, because I got your site pulled up and I'm going I'm going to put you on the spot, man. I don't know if you can do it or not, but I was going to ask you to pluck that uh, that that six string real quick for us, man, if you could. Oh, you I don't have the six string with me, man. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't you know, have I, I gonna, right I, now. You know, I've been I, I don't have a taste, man. You know, it's already halfway <laughs> down. I was going to do some Sam Cook for you. You know, what I mean? oh, okay. man. <laughs> A million miles away. You oh, know, man. Yeah. yeah next, next time we'll, we'll make it happen, though. Definitely. <laughs> I, I could virtually hand you mine back there. I but, don't. You know. <laughs> and I'll, I'll tell you where to put your fingers. You just play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. There we go, man. That's it. <laughs> Wonderful looking site. So walk me through it, it, man. You you navigate. You tell me where to go, and I'm and I'm there. Um. So the, I mean, the first thing I would say would be, it depends on it depends on the person that's that's coming to the site, where you go. 
Because if you're, I would say, if you're more of like a suit kind of sore type of person where you know what you're looking for and everything, you would want to go to the um, the fabric. Boom. We're so good. Good. Okay. Yeah. You would go there first and start looking at the type of fabric that we work with and everything like that to make sure it's up to your standard. Okay. Because I know, I know for me, that's that's the first thing I do if I look at a suit site. I'm going to look at the fabric. I want to see what kind of fabric they're working with. Where is it being made? Is it in America? Is it China? Is it Italy? Is it handmade? Is it factory made? All those kind of things. So that will be the first the first pick. First page I would touch on. You got that burlap, man? Is yeah. that you got that burlap? Absolutely. I mean, you got, I mean, you make them potato sack suits, you know, just <laughs> give you like 10, 15 potato sacks. You want to have another man? No? Okay. Absolutely. I'll but make them touch for you. <laughs> I got a I got a budget, man. And then like I'll do like Kanye West with the Yeezy line and have some people yeah. down on the, you know. Uh, on the on the runway, and, you know, even though it looks like post apocalyptic outfit, you know what I mean. I, and you know, we both can get paid. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. All right. You know, make it work. It's it's this, this is our COVID nineteen line. You know, mm -hmm. I know. Burlap. So what do you, burlap. <laughs> where do you want to go from here? So from there, the next thing I would I would suggest is going to the membership on page. Membership. So that's, okay. Yeah. So that's one of the biggest things that I try to persuade people to, to look at. Okay. Because with that, most people, like your, your average person, if you're a lawyer, if you're like a CEO, so um, a lot of them I work with as well, and they don't have the time to say, I'm going to go into a, a store, try to find suits, try to pick out which one is nice, whatever, whatever, go get it tailored. I, they don't have time for it. And then what tie works with it, what shirt works with it, right. all that kind of stuff. It's time consuming. So with that membership page, we take care of all of that for you. So you get the full image consulting package. So Definitely. yeah, with that, I'll be coming to you, take all of your, um, your, your general bespoke measurements. So not your regular suit measurements, but your bespoke suit measurements. So okay. every, every inch from your neck, shoulders, hips, thigh, inseam, outseam, wrist, everything. And from that, I'll make a, a um, actual portfolio for you or a file for you with your, with your measurements in it. And all of your suits, once you get them in, everything will already be tailored for you. And then I'll go ahead personally and piece everything together. So okay. ties that work, shirts that work. And I've done that already for a lot of um, bigger name clients that they don't, they don't really, like Tyrese, that's one of the guys Right, and, and then let's see the client review. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so those are most of the people um, that work. So you see Rob Riley. Rob Riley, he's the guy from um, Dynasty. So there, oh, you see. Um, That's your boy from Martin, right? Yeah, my dude from Martin. There, Tyrese. There, um, see Doc Shaw. There. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and you work with the kids too, I see. You work with uh, absolutely, yeah. I, I yeah, kids too as well. I don't know and my guy that down there. Fifty thousand dollars suit, you know, but you know, <laughs> uh, the kids are gonna be a little bit, a little bit less, a little cheaper. Gotcha. Yeah, a little bit cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and then my guy down there, he's actually the CEO of Star. I mean, not Starbucks. Um, Subway. And which um, gentleman is that? The one in the black and white window pane too. So down at the right bottom. Here? No, keep going. One more down. One more. This one? Yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah, so they um I went through a lot of different people and the one with um, Charles Whitaker Whitfield in it. Um oh. That was for Tyler Perry's um, his grand opening. Oh, oh, okay, got you. Okay, yeah, Let's go back. Yeah, that to that. Okay, yeah, it was a lot of like ministers there that, that day as well. Like did Marvin Sapp. I didn't put the video the, up there. I did a suit for Dr. J. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so I did one for Dr. J. Um, that was a cool experience. He's <laughs> um, he's funny as ever. 
And did he needed a little more than nine feet of material, didn't he? What's that? He needed a little more than nine feet of material. You know, I used to see I, him at Cigar City Club. Remember? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, he's at Cigar City Club a lot as well. Right. Yeah, so um, that's actually where we actually first first got him on board as a client. So okay. That once again that goes into playing playing the role because him seeing, oh yeah, you always come in here looking extra dapper and everything. Where you get to do like, oh yeah, I, I can actually hook you up. Actually, I'll take care of the whole process for you. So that's that's really what brought him on board. Man, outstanding, man. I mean, I, you know, just knowing you and seeing your journey and knowing where you're coming from and knowing, you know, a lot of the trials and tribulations and the struggle, yeah. the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, and, you know, you've, you've maintained through it all. You've gotten better. You know, you continue to get better and continue to do better. And, you know, I know that, you know, you're going to see continued success. COVID-19 isn't forever, you know. Um, so when this passes, you know, I, I can only imagine, you know, the next level for the classic Taylor, you know. And, um, you know, you and I, you know, we're always going to do business, man, you know. Exactly. Right. right. <laughs> you know, so we all, you know, I'm, I got to get suited up. You know, like I said, I got to get my weight and height up to get to, you know, I, I, I want to see a moon and, and platinum threading, you know, I, <laughs> and moon I, platinum threading, you know what I mean? Oh, no, you don't have platinum, do you? You know, I, well, we do what we can, don't we? <laughs> I, we do what we can. <laughs> right. You know, so, yeah, man. But um, I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for uh, having one with your boy, uh, virtual, Absolutely. you know, Absolutely. cocktail. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cheers. You know? yeah. And, uh, you know, next time I see you, you know, I got you, man. You know, got you. Oh, <laughs> you much, know? much applause. No, are, 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 you, uh, you had mentioned um, in the beginning of the show that you are, are you opening a brick and mortar store? Um, I'm, I'm working on that. Okay. Um, it's going to be more so a showroom type thing. Okay. So it will just consist of um, samples and the, the actual tailor. Okay. So yeah, I don't I don't want it to be something like a regular shop where you're coming in there and you're flipping through a whole bunch of um, suits and everything like that. But I want it to be more personable where I'm we're actually sitting down together, going over your style, going over what your business type of business you're in what your visions is for like how you want to how you want to dress okay so yeah and, okay yeah. Yeah. you're, you're definitely trying to keep this more tailored more custom uh and i know there was the two differentiators you had mentioned bespoke versus versus the made to measure you okay so you're doing kind of major made to measure bespoke and, and you're kind of more yeah. in that swim lane right now yeah i would okay. still have um because i'm working on that right now i have a, a meeting later on at Gentlemen, I'm trying to get a mass production um, done as well. Okay. To where I have access to say, if some like for a wedding, for instance, you have like five, ten goomsmen. You don't want everyone wearing custom suits and stuff. Right. So, right. Yeah, you have access to say, okay, yeah, we, we just need gray suits or we just need you know pinstripe suits or whatever. So we can we can get that. But it's not something I want to consistently have stock. I want to have a okay. the whole store full of just suits and I'm waiting for somebody to come in and buy it. So our our regular our regular off the racks would not necessarily be off the rack. It would be something where you're coming in and saying, I need this. Okay, give me two weeks and we'll be able to uh, produce it. It's not something you just walk in, grab a suit and go. But that's not that's not the true tailor experience, which is why I chose the name the classic tailor. I'm Got giving it. that classic tailor experience. Okay. And Back then, that's where you had you had your actual tailor, you had your shoemaker, you had the person that you bought bread from. Your per, like you have those things, and you know this is what I'm going to for these. Things. And that's so kind of guy would, that right classically people would want to go to. You know what I mean? Especially, exactly. you know, like you said, that that 40s, 50s, 60s era. You know yeah. where you. That's what they help. You know the the question wouldn't be where did you buy your suit. The question would be who's your tailor. Exact. Thank you. That's the main thing. It's not where did you buy a suit. It's who's your tailor. Right. And right. that's what you. That's what I want to um, 
people start gravitating more back towards. So yeah, this is my tailor. This is the person where I need suits, I need to get dressed. That's who I call and they take care of it and done. I just, two of my clients, I just picked up um, 10 suits from them that they bought. And it's not a question of who they're gonna call to get it um, chopped up properly for them. Because I know all of their measurements by heart. I know exactly how they want it to fit. I already know how it's supposed to fit. So I have it taken right to my uh, my seamstress lady and she she does the exact way that um, I, I have to do it every time. So it's not a if and or but or where am I going to get this done? Oh, let me call my tailor. How can the people get in touch with you, man? I mean, I know you've got the site. There's a contact us. Is, is that the best way? Um, that's going to my direct line. I'm going to put up a business line there as well, just to, um, you know, just so I can be able to, uh, to see who's calling, you know, on my end. So I don't think every call is a personal call. I'd be able to see, okay, you call for that reason. So that, I'll put that up soon. You can go on the Instagram. It's the same thing, the um, classic tailor um, with that underscore thing okay. there. Classic tailor underscore. Um, so you have Instagram, you have the website, you can hit me on the direct, the direct line, telephone number, or um, on email, which is the classic tailor, the number one at gmail.com as well. Okay, say that again because the audio is uh, breaking up. Oh, it's going out? Yeah. So email address. Do be, that. Just the email address? Yeah, the email address didn't come through clearly. So the email address is the classic tailor, the number one at gmail.com. Okay. And also, you can um, inquire at, in the YouTube what any of the messagings are contacting Alpha, and I will make sure that it gets to uh, Mr. JD in terms of if, you know, you have any uh, issues reaching out to him. Absolutely. And also, I'll do an extra plug there. If you, if you go through that, that um, for any of the guests, the viewers, all your people, if you um, contact me through that and put in um, from the alpha, I'll make sure to give you an extra 20% off on your, on your actual your, um, your suit order. So you but can't you have to that. make sure to put that plug in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of my people, man. Absolutely. You know? Okay. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> JD, man, once again, just, you know, thank you. You know, it's, it's, it's like how we do, you know, when we get together, you know, we just bam, bam, bang, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, like I said, man, uh, you know, I know it's going to fly regardless of, you know, COVID-19. Um, you know, you're going to stay sharp regardless. Um, and, you know, once it sounds like you've still got business going on, you're being inventive, you're finding new ways. I'm going to help you with that app, you know, so we can oh, get what we talked about. Yeah, you know, most definitely. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, anything else that you want to say uh, in the last closing minutes of uh, the show? Um, definitely keep supporting my guy, the Moon. I forgot it. You guys got to stay tuned in. Make sure that you uh, check it out. And, um, you know, stay blessed. Definitely, yeah. man. Stay blessed. And, you know, we have a saying on Alpha. It's, you know, man up, carpe diem which means seize the day. All right. <laughs> and Thank you, everybody. Absolutely. All right. God bless. All right. Peace.